In this morning's Business Insight, a longtime Cincinnati nonprofit that provides permanent housing and services to homeless adults with severe mental illness is building more than $10 million facility in the West End. Tender Mercies was founded in 1985 by three clergymen working among the homeless in Over the Rhine. It currently serves 150 adults. In August, the organization started construction on 800, 821 flats on Ezra Charles Drive, which will be home to 57 affordable homes homes and is being co-developed with Over the Rhine Community Housing. Russell Winters is CEO of Tender Mercies. He joins Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio. Russell and Kelly. Thanks, Peg. Russell, welcome and thanks for being here. Thanks, Kelly. Um, I've, I've been connected to Tender Mercies for a long time, so full disclosure, I, what you do is amazing. Um, you have been around for more than 30 years in a changing neighborhood. I think a lot of people, when the changes started coming to Over, over the Rhine, thought, oh, Tender Mercies will be moved out, mm -hmm. transitioned out. Mm -hmm. how, how, how have you survived in, in Over the Rhine for as long as you have? Right. And expanding. Exactly. Yeah. So we were founded 33 years ago in Over the Rhine. Basically, three clergymen were working with two women who were discharged from a local psychiatric hospital with absolutely nothing and they worked with a local landlord and that beginning of tender mercy still houses 12 women who are formerly homeless with histories of mental illness mm -hmm. i think we managed to survive because of a few things um, first is our properties our residents and our staff take tremendous pride in our properties i think if you walk down west 12th street you probably wouldn't even know that there's a social service agency we look like pretty much an apartment building we take pride in the upkeep of the buildings and maintaining them well. I think safety is also an important mm -hmm. part of our survival in Over the Rhine. We make a covenant with our local neighbors to maintain the safety of the neighborhood. We've taken steps to um, improve our properties. We've had it enhance exterior lighting. We've also gated off two alleys that were notorious for illicit activity yeah. as well. I think the third thing that has helped our survival is communication. We maintain open communication with the Cincinnati police, our neighbors, and we also are working constantly to educate our neighbors about homelessness and mental illness and educate them about the supportive services that we provide that help um, address the root causes of homelessness. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to note that Tender Mercies provides permanent housing. I think a lot of people don't. It takes a while to get sure. that. And, and <clears throat> the folks that live there are residents and neighbors and friends and um, you now serve about 150, Correct. is that right? Correct. Um, but then the need, there's so much more need. Sure. Right? The, the need is huge. You may have seen we have an affordable housing shortage of about 40,000 units locally. Yeah. And a person earning minimum wage in Ohio has to work about 74 hours a week just to afford a decent two-bedroom apartment. In Hamilton County, about 8,000 people experience homelessness every year and 30% of them report sim sim symptoms of mental illness. So the need is huge and it's constant. Um, despite the um, surviving, the thriving economy, many people are still one paycheck or one catastrophe away from life on the streets. Right. And when you end up on the streets, mental health treatment, medical care, all those things are difficult to access, much less getting to and from a job. Yeah, and providing permanent housing in the long run is so much cheaper and be obviously better for the individual than, than going to jail, which is where a lot of folks end up, right? Absolutely. If you look at how cost-effective we are, um, hospital, jail, so much more expensive than yeah. permanent supportive housing. Yeah. Well, this new project, so exciting. You broke ground in August. Tell us a little bit about your vision for what that's going to be. Sure. So our 821 flats, 821 right? flats, okay. exactly. Yeah. So the vision for this is to expand our capacity from our current 150 units, and it'll take us up to about 207 units of housing. It's permanent supportive housing. It's not shelter. People will be residents of this project. We have assembled a great development team. Our co-developer is over the Rhine Community Housing. The general contractor is Turnbull Wallert, and Jeff Razor is the architect. We broke ground end of August. It's going to take about 12 months to construct. By the end of next summer, 57 additional men and women will be provided a permanent home. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Good luck with the project. Come back and tell us about it when it's all done. Great. Thanks, Thanks Kelly. Thanks so much, Russell. Thanks.